In this video, we'll be working through the different settings and views that can be adjusted on the coverage map on your Pro 700 and IntelliView full display. The purpose of the coverage maps is to show the work path of the vehicle or implement through the field during the current operation. The coverage maps do vary depending on your current operation. Examples of this are the map will show the operator, the application maps, which show the as applied rate for the product. Examples of this are the seed, fertilizer, as a vehicle and implement moves through the field. As well as the prescription maps, which show the prescribed rate of application for the product in the field or sections of the field. The yield maps, which show the harvest results in ton to the hectare, as well as moisture as a vehicle moves through the field. And then the performance maps, which show an aspect of the vehicle productivity. For example, it will measure and show the fuel economy as a vehicle and implement move through the field. Within the coverage maps, there are four different views. Map one by four, map two by three, map two by four, and map two by five are available to be set up on the run screens. These differ in size only and not in function. The first number of the map label indicates the number of columns used on the run screens, while the second number indicates the number of rows. The farming and vehicle applications control the number of layers available for viewing. The map layer window shown includes the windows for applications. The applications in use determine which windows will display in your vehicle. The coverage data type is common to all applications and shows a path of the vehicle and the implement through the field when work mode is detected. Coverage is the default data type. The other available data types depend on both the vehicle and the farming application. On some combines, the additional options are moisture and yield. On some tractors, the additional option is fuel economy. And when the as applied application is present, the options may be granular, liquid, seed, or the control channel of an ISOBUS implement. A yield map for the selected field represents harvest results with different colors. Each color indicating a range of yield per area. A performance map for the selected field represents fuel economy with different colors, each color indicating a range of fuel usage per area. There are four zoom modes available auto, field, manual, and pan. With auto selected, the map zooms to the extent of the current vehicle location within the field selected. As the vehicle moves, the map automatically adjusts itself to keep the vehicle and field in the map window. As the field size increases, the map scale decreases. With field selected, the entire field displays and the size of the map zooms dynamically to fit the available window. As the field size increases, the map adjusts to keep the entire field in the window. This is the default view. With manual selected, magnifying glass buttons appear in the map window and the operator chooses a zoom level. Press the minus button to decrease map size. Press the plus button to increase map size within the window. Each press of a button represents a 50% change in zoom level. The usability of the information viewed determines the zoom limits. With pan selected, the plus and minus buttons appear in the map window and have the same function as they do in manual mode. But in addition, the operator can press on a location on the map to pan away from the vehicle to that location. The new pan location shifts to the center of the map. Press a location on the map to pan the map view to that location. Field boundaries may be created within the display or with desktop software for any field. The outer boundary, when enabled, is indicated with a bold red line on the map when the vehicle is inside the boundary, along with the other active map layers. 
When the vehicle is outside the boundary, it displays as a bold black line. An inner boundary always displays as a maroon line. Field marks for user-defined field conditions appear on the maps. When enabled, along with the other active map layers, all field marks appear as small circles. Locations are marked on the map using the field marks 1x2 and field marks 3x4 windows on the run screens. The auto guidance swath pattern appears on the map. When enabled, along with the other active map layers, the map window shows the current swath in red and the three swaths in blue to the immediate left and right of the current swath. If present in the map view, the recorded swath appears in olive. The start and stop points for the recorded swath also appear. The green circle represents the start point and the red star represents the stop point. Use the data style window on the pop-up options window for the layer button to change whether the data map displays in color or gray or to hide the data layer. The data map is a yield, moisture, fuel economy or as applied product map created by the vehicle. The RX style window is only available with the as applied application used by planters, seeders and sprayers. The window determines how a prescription map appears in conjunction with the as applied map for a product. When outline is selected, the boundaries for the prescription zones appear on the map. When color is selected, the as applied map for the product is placed in color on the map to represent a different prescription zone. User defined field obstacles appear on the work map when enabled, along with the other active map layers. Once defined, even if an operator chooses not to display obstacles, the display warns the operator if the path of vehicle and implement will contact the obstacle. All obstacle types, whether that be closed, open or point, normally display in amber. The obstacle turns red on the map when the vehicle or implement enter the warning zone. This is defined by the look ahead time window on the GPS setup screen. Press the legend button to display or edit the color legend for a map. The legend pop-up window displays indicating the range for the shades used on the map. The operator can change the legend range, but not the colors used. Set the ranges to keep the shading proportional to the current data coming in, such as a yield, application rate, and fuel usage rate. A unique legend is available for each map data type whether it be the yield, moisture, or fuel economy. The legend remains in effect across all farms and fields until the operator changes them. For harvest applications, the legends are unique to each crop type so that the tonnes per hectare can be set different for a cereal crop to that of a pulse crop. For the as-applied application, the legends are unique to each product, whether that be seed, liquid or granular and a unique legend can exist for each product used. The legends are part of the crop setup information and can be imported from another vehicle from its data storage device.